Well, tonight, a new poll finds that more than half of parents with kids under 12 say they'd get their young children vaccinated against COVID if the shots were available. And we learned today that shots for kids 5 to 11 years old could be just a month or so away. Here's CBS's Errol Barnett. Important news tonight for parents. Pfizer announcing it submitted data to the FDA proving its vaccine is safe and effective in children age 5 to 11. The company says it will make a formal request within weeks to begin administering doses. If the FDA approves, kids could get the vaccine by late October or November. Meanwhile, in the nation's largest school district, a federal judge says New York City can mandate all school employees be vaccinated or lose their job. The deadline is 5 p.m. Friday. What do you say to teachers who will not get vaccinated? We're here to protect your rights, but at the same time, we follow the law. Michael Mulgrew heads the union representing nearly 200,000 current and former New York City teachers and staff. It's the only way we can go back to doing what we wanted to do, which is to teach children who aren't full of fear and anxiety. How many teachers drop out remains to be seen, but there are signs a similar mandate among hospital employees worked. Just a week before the deadline to get at least one dose or face termination, there were reportedly still more than 8,000 New York City hospital workers unvaccinated. By last night, that number dropped to almost half as many. Also tonight, a change of heart for a former vaccine skeptic. NBA star LeBron James saying he has now received his first vaccine dose. After doing my research and things of that nature, I felt like it was best suited for not only me, but for my family and for my friends. Also, a new nationwide study shows a surge in vaccine acceptance among racial and ethnic groups that lag behind. Back in May, a far higher percentage of white Americans were vaccinated with at least one dose when compared to black or Hispanic Americans. But now not only has the gap narrowed considerably, but Hispanics have the highest vaccination rate. There were many reasons for this gap, including barriers to vaccine access, and some still had concerns, and those concerns were often rooted in misinformation. Now, look, there remains some resistance among some New York teachers when it comes to vaccines, but at least 90 percent of them have been fully inoculated. Also new tonight, United Airlines releasing an update on its vaccine mandate. Ninety nine percent of staff chose to comply, minus those with religious or medical exemptions. That final one percent, almost 600 people, Nora, will be subject to dismissal. Wow, those mandates working. All right, Errol Barnett, thank you.